Hi everybody, we are back again with another video in the Home Theater PC Media Center demo. And this one's going to actually come in a few parts. Um, we are going into the game section, which is by far the hardest to set up and um, I think coolest part of this Media Center. Right now you can see we've got a bunch of various game backgrounds, things like that. And when we go in, this is using the Advanced Launcher plugin, which is amazing. Shout out to um, Angels Cry and his wonderful work on this. And you can set it to launch anything, really. We have various emulators. N64 works alright, but it takes some tweaking once you launch it, so I'm not going to do that just for the sake of a seamless video. Um, GameCube and Wii, very neat, um, running Dolphin. And with the setup, we can run very high def. Um, two if not three times the internal resolution of the Wii U, anti-aliasing, um, surround sound, all that. It's very nice. And while not every game runs perfectly, most of my favorite games run well enough to make it worth my while. Um, games for Windows, PC games, just a launcher to these. These haven't been updated in a while. I do apologize. I play most of the time on my home um, PC in my office versus out here in the living room, but it is nice to have the, the option to... So, when I do, I like to play out here, PlayStation 2 emulator using PCSX2, Dreamcast emulator using Noldy C, Steam, um, set to big picture mode, which is just incredible, uh, Super Nintendo running, uh, which one is that? I think it's Beast Nest, I'm not sure, and then just basic XBM2 utilities. You see these um, around the media center, like the RIP DVD, things like that. So we're going to kick it off with Nintendo GameCube, and to show you what we'll be playing with, we have a Logitech F310. To be more precise, we have four of them, so four players, and we have Wii remotes, and you can see the blue light from the sensor bar if you look down a bit. And just like the movies, this has descriptions, uh, metadata, you can set artwork, banners, things like that. It's very nice. Um, like I said, when games work. So we're going to start real quick with... Um, you know what? What do I want to play? I'm not sure what I want to play. Hmm. I want to do Super Monkey Ball, just so you can see the improved quality. And I love Super Monkey Ball. We have this map to, you know, emulate GameCube controllers. It's not exactly the same, but it's close enough. As you can tell, the sound system works just fine. Um, sometimes you get... Sometimes you get some audio stuttering, things like that, but it's an emulator. It's not always perfect. What you do get in that trade-off is greater graphical power, the ability to mod, you know, mess with programming, things like that. So I'm just going to play real quick, show you some of this, then we'll move on to the Wii. And you might notice some hiccups here or there, typically when loading, um, but it's not too bad. My family and I, we played a 40 game Mario Party 6 match uh, over the weekend. We only got stuttering during load and some audio issues sometimes. I'm going to take the jump, I haven't played this game in years, and I miss it. That's why I don't speedrun people. Anyways, this is just to show you, it runs fine. Um, let's close this now, and we will head back to the library. Another benefit uh, emulators is you just get the ability for save states, things like that. It's very nice. Let's play... Everybody's favorite, Melee. Do this real quick. And as you can tell, I don't always play with the emulators. That's why you don't see memory slots. I was doing some memory um, tests, trying to figure things out. I haven't played Melee in a while, so if I'm rusty, my apologies. Now, um, while the emulator is pretty accurate, 
I probably, you wouldn't see this at EVO for Smash. Smash is at EVO, by the way. Get excited about that. It's going to be neat. Also, the emulators might be a tad slow right now because we're recording. Um, my family sets a lot of recordings, so it's one of the prices you pay for, you know. Whoops. Anyways, but you get the general idea. It's good enough for when you feel like, you know, some nostalgia and you want to play again. But you don't want to dig out the GameCube or anything. And you guys can watch me get beat up. It's pretty good, isn't it? Like I said, I'm not here to show off how I play, but rather how this plays. And that's a good amount of that. <laughs> There's usually not much slowdown with multiple players. Um, if I had more people to show you right now, I would. Uh, let's do Star Fox Assault, because this game... Some games look a lot better on the emulator, some don't. Um, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, those are some examples of really good ones. Um, Beautiful Joe, Mario Kart, not so much. But Star Fox Assault, and you'll see what I mean. I mean, some people didn't like the game. I liked it. It was a neat little arcade-style game. But when you look at it, it just looks incredible. You know, just playing real quick to start it. Also, very short load times, another thing you notice an advantage over the GameCube or Wii or PS2 or Dreamcast. Limited only by your hard drive speed, pretty much. I mean, you can see some text has some issues, some things like that, but it's an emulator, you know, it's not going to be perfect. It is pretty, though. All ships, avoid your bonus fire. Aim for Organi's flagship. Here we go! You know, this is this video is getting kind of long, so I think we'll cut it off now. But as you can see, Dolphin is a very capable emulator. Um, next video we are going to go over the Wii, so stick around.